munchkin. My other munchkin. Hello? Oh. Always sticking your bum out. Okay, so the first vlog that I filmed was kind of weird. Like the colors on the couch were like really janky and I don't know why. Um, I don't know if it was just dark or if it's because I'm using the selfie camera. If this one also turns out janky, <laughs> I apologize. Fingers crossed that it looks okay this time. Um, also, I'm like holding this on a selfie stick, trying my best to like keep it stable. Oh my gosh, I could see it shaking. I should just set it down. I don't know why I'm holding it. One second. <laughs> okay, I set it down um, and I think that's probably a lot better. Today's a pretty chill day. Today I got up at 10 um, for class. So I met with my group and we knocked an assignment out. Um, and then other than that, today I don't really have any plans. Well, I have a class in like 30 minutes, so I'll be doing that. And then after that, I will probably be going out to a study group with my friends. I don't know, that's kind of how my weeks always go. About once a week we meet and then I work all the time. And then if I'm not working, I'm studying. I guess it is more like a video diary for me. Um, so it'll be like a weekly video diary compared to your traditional fun kind of vlog. But yeah, <laughs> it should be a good time. I hope you all enjoy it. <laughs> I don't think that worked. Don't cover it well enough. Well, bye. So, I finally have the car, so I'm gonna go meet up with my friends at the moment for our study group. These are my friends. Aren't they so cute? Lot of studying. We stayed till closing. <laughs> we, we stayed till close because we were working so hard <laughs> and now we're all heading home. <laughs> Good morning. It is Friday, October 15th, 18th, 13th, one of those days. I've been having like terrible dreams lately. I went to bed with so much anxiety for some reason. Um, I literally was, I don't know if it's because I had that Earl Grey latte. I was literally laying in bed and I was like shaking and I just felt such anxiety and like it felt like I was just like not choking but it definitely felt like there was just like weight on me and everything just felt so heavy. I'm sorry, this is kind of depressing but I feel like it's it's just part of life um and i don't think that it's something that should be avoided when talking about but uh, there's been a lot of nights lately where i've been having just like these strange dreams where of a lot of people from my past 
and they're not like pleasant dreams they're very stressful they put me in very stressful situations um they're not like in characters of like how they typically were in my past either <sighs> So that's how my night was, but today is gonna be a good day. Yeah, so right now we are going to make some scones because mom asked for some scones today um, so she could bring for all her golf friends. And so that is what we're gonna be doing um, because if mama ever asked for baking, I gotta bake. So the scone recipe that I use is actually very easy. I have my Betty Crocker measuring cup. And then I only ever use my teaspoon measure. So we are going to start with three cups of flour. Next, we're gonna add a third of a cup of sugar. I just use white granulated sugar. You can use whatever kind of sugar that works. Um, I'm sure you might have to adjust the recipe depending on the sweetness. Next baking powder, we need two and a half teaspoons. Two and roughly one half. And then I have my baking soda. And we need half a teaspoon of this. It's roughly half. Lastly, we need half a teaspoon of salt. So here is our dry mixture and we are just going to plug in the stand mixer and then with the paddle attachment have it mixing. Remember to preheat your oven. We're going to go at 350. Now while that is mixing, I am going to grab three quarters of a cup of butter and I'm just going to heat it. Next, we're going to add in our butter, piece by piece. It's still kind of quickly. Just want to make sure most of the butter chunks are separated and going in. Our mixture is beginning to look pretty good. It seems pretty good and crumbly. We are going to put in our additives. Um, for this one, I am doing just some Ocean Spray cranberries. We're just going to squeeze some of this in. You could chop it up too. I'm lazy, so I don't. Let that takes a bit. And we're going to put our butter We don't need to get every drop out because we will use the rest of this one later. We are going to flour our surface and then we're just going to take our dough. We're just going to knead it a tiny bit so that way everything comes into one giant loaf. That's good. You don't want to overwork your dough too much. Next, I'm going to take my rolling pin and roll it out to roughly maybe half an inch. that thickness is good. So I just line some pans up with some parchment paper. And what we are going to do, 
I have a little circle cutter here. I got a little kit um, like maybe 10 years ago, um, just from Amazon. I believe this one's about an inch and a half. And so we're just gonna pop out little circles. If it ever sticks, you can just flower. Um, I like to use what's on the table, just flower the edges slightly. And we're gonna try cutting them pretty close together so that way we can get the most out of our first roll. So now what we're going to do is with the little bit of milk that we have in here, you might need more. I'm just going to take our finger and just put a little bit on top of all of these. Go just like a couple at a time so it doesn't dry out. And then I just have some white sugar here. And what you're going to do is just dip the tops in so that way they have a sugar crust. And then we'll place them on our pans. 